please wait for the cowboys to drop the chains before boarding the train car of your choice. And the first train departs at 10.30 sharp.
Thanks, Mr. Conductor. Here we go. Please stay seated while the train is moving. How about giving the people in town a wave and a big yee-haw? this trestle, we'll also be turning back the clock to the days of the Wild West. Over to your right is Boot Hill, the final resting place for many a gunman. Many folks met their ends through violence, gunplay in the streets, and it's said they died with their boots on. to make a quick stop here at the Frontier Outpost, our cowboys have some business to take care of, and we should be on our way soon. But stay alert, you never know what might happen out here in these days. All right, everyone, please return to your seats. Casey Jones, let's get this train on up to Fort Boone, please. said, we have to be prepared for anything. 
Take your seat and we'll get on up to Fort Boone and see what the trouble is all about. Just beyond this canyon is Fort Boone. We'll stop here long enough for our crew to check things out. Keep your seat until we come to a stop. Casey Jones, let's get this train on back to town, please. Phew, that's enough excitement for now. Let's head on back to town. On the way, I'll tell you a little bit more about Tweetsie Railroad. As I mentioned earlier, our train is being pulled by an authentic coal-fired steam locomotive. Each day our locomotives will burn as much as five tons of coal and use up to 5,000 gallons of water making steam to pull us around the mountain. Many of our earliest settlers lived a hard life on one room dirt floor log cabins, like the one you'll see up ahead. Then the railroads came and opened up these mountains to the outside world. Here's a little more about the history of Tweetsie Railroad and its trains. Tweetsie's history dates back nearly 150 years to the beginnings of the East Tennessee and Western North Carolina Railroad which once ran a narrow gauge line stretching almost 70 miles through the rugged Blue Ridge Mountains. Trains ran daily from Johnson City, Tennessee to Boone, North Carolina. The railway served the mountain region for decades, but by 1950, the line had shut down. It was the end of an era. All the eastern Tennessee and western North Carolina narrow gauge locomotives wound up in the scrapyard, except for engine number 12, which is nicknamed Tweetsie by mountain folk. But as one era ended, another began. Movie star Gene Autry agreed to purchase locomotive number 12 and some unused train cars. However, the cost to get it to Hollywood was too high, so Autry sold the engine to Grover C. Robbins Jr. of Bowen Rock. 
Tweetsie was coming home. On July 4, 1957, Tweetsie Railroad opened to the public with a single depot building and a one-mile excursion route. In the years that followed, the track was expanded into a three-mile loop. An authentic western town was added. In 1959, singing cowboy Fred Kirby of Charlotte Television Station, WBTV, came to be the marshal of Tweetsie Railroad, beginning a career that lasted nearly 30 years. The number 190 Yukon Queen locomotive was purchased in 1960 and brought from Alaska to complement engine number 12. At about the same time, a chairlift was installed, taking park visitors up to a new section of Tweetsie Railroad that became known as Miner's Mountain, featuring more rides, live shows, a gem mine, and the popular Deer Park Zoo. The country fair was later added and became the park's main section of amusement rides. And in the 1970s, Tweetsie opened its own steam locomotive repair shop, one of only a few of its kind in the country. Customers from other parks around the nation bring their steam locomotives to Tweetsie Railroad for repair and restoration. Tweetsie Railroad's number 12 locomotive is now part of the National Register of Historic Places, and the Tweetsie Railroad theme park continues to hold a special place in the hearts of generations of visitors who have ridden her legendary rails, carried away to fun, adventure, and a lifetime of memories. It looks like our train trip is just about over. Thanks for riding with us. I hope you'll get a chance to come back and ride again. New things are always coming to the Wild West. Stay seated until the train has come to a complete stop. Then, exit out the rear of your train car. Check and make sure you got all your belongings and place any trash in the trash cans at the exit. Come back and ride with us again soon. Bye-bye now. Once again, folks, please remain seated until the train cars have finished rolling backwards.
Casey Jones, let's ride. The train's clear, Casey. Thanks, Mr. Conductor. Here we go. Please stay seated while the train is moving. How about giving the people in town a wave and a big yee?
Quick stop here at the Frontier Outpost. Our cowboys have some business to take care of, and we should be on our way soon. But stay alert. You never know what might happen out here in these lawless backwoods towns. But it doesn't really surprise me that he lost them again. Who? Yeah, it shouldn't surprise me either, but uh, he couldn't have picked the worst time to do this as well. When? Hey, uh, Sheriff, hey, um, is your deputy all right? Physically, <laughs> yes. Now, deputy, if you had been paying attention in the morning meeting, you Oh, the morning meeting, that, that's when I practice my yoga, because, you know, during these uncertain times, it helps keep me centered. Right. As I was saying, if you had been paying attention during the morning meeting, you would know that Trooper Boggs has lost his keys to the Fort Boone safe again, and we gotta help him get in there because there's something really, really, really bad. Hey! Hey! What are you, what are you doing now? Uh, Sorry, Sheriff. It's just been so long since we've been out here, I kind of forgot what this place looked like. It's only been 45 minutes. I have short-term memory. All right. Well, fine. Here we go. Bye. Telegraph office, saloon, livery, outhouse, and most importantly, the jail. Jail. Which is where you're going to be if you don't help me find them keys. Yes, sir. Oh, sir. Sheriff, if it's if it's causing trouble, you two could go and uh, search other locales for the keys while we take over the search right here. Yeah. I may not be the, the smartest California in town, but uh, uh, I'm really great at finding lost things. He ain't done his toothbrush yet, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> what did you just say, anything matter? I, I, I said uh, that there's no reason to rush with finding the fort keys, that's for sure. That's what I thought. That'll be enough out of the two of you. All right, dude, you know what, Frost? I think we'll take you up on that. You two can uh, search down by the outhouse, and we'll search around here. Search around here, got it. Not, not the train. <laughs> oh, we've already been there. Okay, Sheriff. We'll be sure to do our part. That seemed kind of strange to you? Yes. Yeah, it seems strange to me. Normally they fuss and holler and put up a fight. I wonder what's going on. Maybe they found some motivation. Yeah, well, whatever the reason is, we got to hurry up and find those keys before they do, because if they get in that safe, it's going to be a world of trouble. Ooh. So you check in there. Yes, we'll sir. Well, 
This is what the Frontier Outpost looks like up close. No, thank you. <laughs> well, well, well. What do we have here? Oh, not you two again. Well, if it isn't one of the famous Can Can Gems. Hey, uh, Miss Sapphire, I have a question. What are you doing all the way out here? Yeah, you know it's a dangerous place out here in the Wild West for a delicate young lady such as yourself. Oh, well then it's a good thing you two showed up. Well, you see, I was talking to that handsome fella on the train over there. Hey! And you see, time kind of slipped away from me, and I got distracted, and then the train left, and I got stuck on it. Aww, it's okay. Here, there. Uh-uh. Six feet. <laughs> We can help you, Miss Sapphire. There's just one small thing that we're looking for. Oh, like what? A safe that sport food. Sheriff, sure. Sheriff, sure, those two rap scallions down there talking to Miss Sapphire. Yeah, I can see that, but I think she'll be all right. She's more than capable. Don't worry, Sheriff. I got this. <clears throat> okay. Excuse me, you two. Leave that lovely lady alone. Make me gladly. Him. Put him up. Put him up. Hey, 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 hey. I ain't putting nothing up. You back up, back up, social distancing, keep going, you're rather stinky. Hey now, that is good enough. Now, we can't fight, how are we going to do this then? <clears throat> uh -oh. Right, I forgot about those. <laughs> Stop! What? Go ahead. <laughs> I think you mean Miss Sapphire saved today. Excellent work. Thank you. You want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. Yeah, tell me about it. All right, you two. You get that out house fixed right now, and I'll think about not throwing you in jail. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. Now, while you were out here goofing off, I managed to find the keys to the fort. So we're all gonna get on this train, head up to Fort Boone, find Trooper Boggs, and let him back in. That's right, because we're all in this together. <laughs> Knock that off, get out of here. Oh, wait, we said we'll start dancing. All right, when you two have finished up, you get back on board the train too. Uh, folks, if you got your firearms handy, you might wanna get them ready. Uh, no telling what we're gonna run into out there. All right, Mr. Conductor, take us to Fort Boone. All righty, folks, please return to your seats. Casey Jones, let's get this train to Fort Boone, please. said we have to be prepared for anything take your seat and we'll get on up to fort boone and see what the trouble is all about
Just beyond this canyon is Fort Boone. We'll stop here long enough for our crew to check things out. Keep your seat until we come to a stop. Unnecessary danger. Why don't you just stay out here on the train? Are you kidding me? I am not staying out here. These are bandy toads. I am coming in with you. Okay. Hey, Cher, why don't you head on in first? You know, uh, A before beauty. Deputy. Now, you wouldn't happen to be scared, would you? Me? Scared? No, no. I just wanted to make sure everyone's safe. You know, stay six feet apart and all that. You big baby. <laughs> All right, look, if it means that much to you, you can head across the tracks and check out the troopers' campsite over there. Gladly! <laughs> oh boy, ain't right. All right, you two, don't think I forgot about you. Wake up! Oh. Now I want the two of you to stay put right out here and keep an eye on all the folks on this train. And folks on this train, y'all probably need to keep an eye on them too, all right? And don't do anything funny. Now, Sheriff, I have never done a funny thing in my life. That's what your train car told me. <laughs> well played, Sheriff. Well played. Bye. Bye. Well played. Well played. All right, now that that yahoo's gone, we're going to be heading on in there to try and find the loot before they can get their hands on it. So, what I need y'all on the train to do is I need you to be my eyes ears and early warning system in case anything crazy happens and we need to make like a banana and split. So, the warning signal is going to be y'all screaming to high heaven. So, let's give it the old college try. Come on! Woo! What was that? Pitiful it was, it was what it was. Now folks, how in the world are we supposed to hear that all the way inside the fort? Make walls in there. I tell you what, Here's what we're going to do, Frost. One more time. We're going to give these people one more shot. Yep. Except this time we're going to do it with feeling. Okay? Three, two, one, and... <laughs> now that will do the trick. Yes. All right, remember, folks, we're counting on all of you. Especially with that cowboy hat on. I'm watching you. You know, you, know, you really got to stop. I'm coming. Taglines. Marco! Can't get the deputy to do it. Hey, deputy! Oh, oh. Yeah, now he answers. Hang on just a second. You find anything yet over there? Absolutely nothing. What about you, Miss Ruby? Miss Ruby? Miss Sapphire? Sapphire? I don't know. I haven't found nothing. I don't think Miss Ruby's found nothing either. Yes, Emily. You guys seen anything? Frost? Where'd they go? Where are they? What? Hey! Hey, why don't you tell us they went inside? <laughs> oh, if they're going to Florida, they can stay there. All right, now I figured something like this would happen. We better find them two before they rob this whole place blind. Come on! Chill 
tell them we were in there? Traitors, every single one of you. Yo, Simi, come on, we gotta get going before they catch us. <laughs> Ross, we did it! We're gonna be rich! <laughs> Wait, you got it in the safe? I got it! What is in there? Take a guess. Jewels. Uh-uh. Uh, silver? Uh-huh. Gold doubloon! Even better! Take a look at the gold doubloons! We're gonna be rich! We're gonna be rich! Ha ha! Let's go to Disney World! I'm going to Dollywood! Hey, <laughs> hey, hey! I'm afraid I'm gonna have to insist that you fellas give that back. That's so, Sheriff. Scramble! Meet me! Ha ha! You just tried to shoot me! Was it wasn't loaded! back up here! Ha! You two. Oh, Deputy, get up. Alright, hand me that bag. Yes, ma'am. See what's in it. You take this. Wait a minute. I came all the way out here to find toilet paper? <laughs> and, 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 more toilet paper? You guys, where's the gold? Where's the jewels? Well, in this new world we're living in, this is the new normal after all. I deserve that. <laughs> yeah, you call her Miss Ruby again. She might use it on you, too. <laughs> All right, Deputy, get that on back in the safe. We got to go. Ah, ah, ah. Not so fast. We got to get these two back into town. They got train cars to clean. Aww. Sure, can't we just go to jail? You wish. Uh, How about a big hand for Miss Sapphire and our Tweetsie Cowboys? Casey Jones, let's get this train on back to town, please. Phew, that's enough excitement for now. Let's head on back to town. On the way, I'll tell you a little bit more about Tweetsie Railroad. As I mentioned earlier, our train is being pulled by an authentic coal-fired steam locomotive. Each day our locomotives will burn as much as five tons of coal and use up to 5,000 gallons of water making steam to pull us around the mountain. Many of our earliest settlers lived a hard life in one-room dirt floor log cabins, like the one you'll see up ahead. Then the railroads came open up these mountains to the outside world. Here's a little more about the history of Tweetsie Railroad and its trains. Tweetsie's history dates back nearly 150 years to the beginnings of the East Tennessee and Western North Carolina Railroad, which once ran a narrow gauge line stretching almost 70 miles through the rugged Blue Ridge Mountains. Trains ran daily from Johnson City, Tennessee to Boone, North Carolina. The railway served the mountain region for decades, but by 1950, the line had shut down. It was the end of an era. All the eastern Tennessee and western North Carolina narrow-gauge locomotives wound up in the scrapyard, except for engine number 12, which is nicknamed Tweetsie by mountain folk. But as one era ended, another began. Movie star Gene Autry agreed to purchase locomotive number 12 and some unused train cars. However, the cost to get it to Hollywood was too high, so Arthur sold the engine to Grover C. Rollins Jr. of Blowing Rock. Tweetsie was coming home. On July 4, 1957, Tweetsie Railroad opened to the public with a single depot building and a one-mile excursion route. 
In the years that followed, the track was expanded into a three-mile loop. An authentic western town was added. In 1959, singing cowboy Fred Kirby of Charlotte Television Station, WBTV, came to be the marshal of Tweetsie Railroad, beginning a career that lasted nearly 30 years. The number 190 Yukon Queen locomotive was purchased in 1960 and brought from Alaska to complement engine number 12. At about the same time, a chairlift was installed, taking park visitors up to a new section of Tweetsie Railroad that became known as Miner's Mountain, featuring more rides, live shows, a gem mine, and the popular Deer Park Zoo. The country fair was later added and became the park's main section of amusement rides. And in the 1970s, Tweetsie opened its own steam locomotive repair shop, one of only a few of its kind in the country. Customers from other parks around the nation bring their steam locomotives to Tweetsie Railroad for repair and restoration. Tweetsie Railroad's number 12 locomotive is now part of the National Register of Historic Places, and the Tweetsie Railroad theme park continues to hold a special place in the hearts of generations of visitors who have ridden her legendary rails, carried away to fun, adventure, and a lifetime of memories. It looks like our train trip is just about over. Thanks for riding with us. I hope you'll get a chance to come back and ride again. New things are always coming to the Wild West. seated until the train has come to a complete stop. Then, exit out the rear of your train car. Check and make sure you got all your belongings and place any trash in the trash cans at the exit. Come back and ride with us again soon. Bye-bye now. Once again, folks, please remain seated until the train cars have finished rolling backwards.
Then the railroads came and opened up these mountains to the outside world. Here's a little more about the history of Quincy Railroad and its trains. stretching almost 70 miles through the rugged Blue Ridge Mountains. Trains ran daily from Johnson City, Tennessee to Boone, North Carolina. The railway served the mountain region for decades, but by 1950, the line had shut down. It was the end of an era. All the eastern Tennessee and western North Carolina narrow-gauge locomotives wound up in the scrap yard, except for engine number 12, which is nicknamed Tweetsie by Mountain Folk. But as one era ended, another began. Movie star Gene Autry agreed to purchase locomotive number 12 and some unused train cars. However, the cost to get to Hollywood was too high, so Autry sold the engine to Grover C. Robbins Jr. of Blowing Rock. Tweetsie was coming home. On July 4, 1957, Tweetsie Railroad opened to the public with a single depot building and a one-mile excursion route. In the years that followed, the track was expanded into a three-mile loop. An authentic western town was added. In 1959, singing cowboy Fred Kirby of Charlotte Television Station, WBTV, came to be the marshal of Tweetsie Railroad, beginning a career that lasted nearly 30 years. The number 190 Yukon Queen locomotive was purchased in 1960 and brought from Alaska to complement engine number 12. At about the same time, a chairlift was installed, taking park visitors up to a new section of Tweetsie Railroad that became known as Miner's Mountain, featuring more rides, live shows, a gem mine, and the popular Deer Park Zoo. The country fair was later added and became the park's main section of amusement rides. And in the 1970s, Tweetsie opened its own steam locomotive repair shop, one of only a few of its kind in the country. Customers from other parks around the nation bring their steam locomotives to Tweetsie Railroad for repair and restoration. Tweetsie Railroad's number 12 locomotive is now part of the National Register of Historic Places. And the Tweetsie Railroad theme park continues to hold a special place in the hearts of generations of visitors who have ridden her legendary rails carried away to fun, adventure, and a lifetime of memories. Well, it looks like our train trip is just about over. Thanks for riding with us. I hope you'll get a chance to come back and ride again. New things are always coming to the Wild West. Until the train has come to a complete stop, then exit out the rear of the train.